Hi, and thank you for joining the Richmond Art Gallery's School Art Program at Home. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to be creating an artwork inspired by a Canadian artist named Amy Malbuff, and we're going to learn a little bit more about the art form of Métis beading. Now, since we don't all have beads and thread and needles at home necessarily, what we're going to do today is we will be using markers and a technique called pointillism, or making a picture using dots, to basically approximate the effect of a Métis beaded design, but with the tools that we have at home. Now, the artist we're looking at today is Amy Malbuff, who is a Métis visual artist from Rich Lake, Alberta. Her work explores Métis cultural identity and the importance of the natural environment, which is a very important value in Métis culture. She uses traditional techniques such as beading and caribou hair tufting, and also combines these with modern materials such as plastic and cardboard. In order to understand the artist Amy Malbuff's work, maybe first what we'll do is learn a little bit about what Métis beadwork is. Uh, so the Métis, as a people, emerged um, as a distinct people or nation in the historic Northwest during the 18th and 19th uh, centuries. Métis culture is a blend of First Nations cultures and European cultures. And um, Métis peoples are descended from those First Nations and European ancestors who came together to form a new community uh, during a time called the fur trade. Now the practice of Métis beadwork was developed through a blending of European floral embroidery and First Nations beading techniques. Embroidery means to create a picture using stitching or sewing with colorful threads. So floral embroidery means to create pictures of flowers with stitching. Beading means to create pictures by stitching beads onto leather or some type of fabric. Now, traditionally, First Nations groups would create their beads from uh, bone, shell, or stone, and they would combine these beads with other materials such as porcupine quills to create intricate uh, and complex designs. Now, when glass beads were introduced um, from Europe, uh, this provided a greater range of colors for artists to use, as well as increase the availability of beads. Now, in Métis communities, the indigenous beading traditions were combined with the floral patterns uh, from European embroidery to create a distinctive art form that was a blend of both of the cultures. So what type of things were beaded? Uh, could have been clothing items such as hats, mittens, vests, gloves and shoes, and useful items such as bags and other household goods. Now, traditionally, this artwork was done by women, and it actually became an important source of income for communities as these beautifully decorated items could be traded or sold. Many of these trade items can be found in museums today, and when Amy Malbuff researched these items, she noticed that they were often labeled with the date they were made, or presumed date, and the description of the item. So the object we see here is one titled Pouch 1905. So she decided to try and create her own modern version of these trade goods to kind of reflect on this idea of who art was being made for um, and why it was being made. And so she created um, artworks that would be practical household items or items that we would use. However, um, she's kind of done a modern twist using modern materials such as a plastic tarp and a cardboard box. And then she's titled them in the same way as the museum items. So the titles themselves are written on the artworks and uh, written in beads. Now, can you figure out what they're called and when these artworks were made? If you guessed TARP 2017 and BOX 2017, you're right. And of course, they were made in 2017. So today, what we're going to be doing, kind of inspired by this notion of creating a picture using beads, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create an artwork inspired by this tradition, but because we won't necessarily all have beads and thread at home, what we're going to do is we will be using a technique called pointillism, which just means drawing with dots. And we will be uh, using our colored markers to create these dots, and each dot will represent a bead from a beaded design. 
And this way we can create a design in a very similar way that a Métis artist would need to create a design by taking a picture and dividing it up into individual units. So to start with, you will need pencil, eraser, um, some paper, and of course, some colored markers. You'll also need an idea. So for my design, I decided to first just go for a nature walk um, to get some inspiration. Many Métis designs are actually directly inspired by the native plants that the artist would have observed um, in their environment. So I decided to first do a nature walk and that way it just kind of gave me a few ideas for my design. Uh, instead of nature, you could think about a word that you would like to draw. So just like Amy Malbuff have used the word box and tarp, you could come up with a word that you would like to do uh, and um, use the pointillism technique on. Um, or you could just use your imagination to come up with the design of your choice. Next, using our markers, we will start with the outline using dots. In beading, the beads follow the line of the designs, and we're going to do the same with our drawing. speed things up a bit. Once the outlining is done, it's time to fill in the design. So when your artwork is done, maybe think about a place in your house that you might want to display your art. Or maybe think about a family member or friend you would like to share your art with. If you would like to share your art online, feel free to post it to Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag rag at home or hashtag Richmond Connects. And that way too, you can see the art that everyone in your community has created. To find out more information about the artist Amy Malbuff and her work, or more about Métis history and culture, check out the links I've included in the description below. And there's an especially good video by Parks Canada on the tradition of Métis beading. So thanks for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing your art. See you next time.